There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view Welcome everyone Today we'll be reviewing this LEGO Porsche 963 It was released on March 1st, 2023 And the retail price for it was $24.99 this product also comes with 280 pieces. So let's flip the box and see what's at the back of the box here. So looking at the back here, it seems like they have three additional pictures here. The picture to the left here shows the rear of the car. It seems to be racing on a track. The next picture down here shows the car from top view passing the finish line. Then looking at the picture on the upper right here, it seems to show the actual car, which I think looks really nice. So now I'm going to go over some of the few things that come along with this product. I'll set this box on the side here. So first let's take a look at the instruction manual. It will show you the steps to build the car. And looking at the back of the instruction manual here, it kind of shows you all the pieces that come in the set. So now I'm going to set this instruction manual to the side here. Next we'll be looking at the minifigure that comes along with the set. This little guy also comes along with a helmet. So now let's try to take a closer look at him. He seems to come in a racing outfit that is black, red, and white. You can also see the stitchings on the outfit. I also like the detail on the pants here. So let's take a look at his back. You can see that the back of the shirt also has designs on it too. I think the outfit for the minifigure matches the car pretty well. So now I'm going to set him aside here. So now we'll be taking a look at the car. Taking a look at it, I think it has a nice color scheme. It's in red, black, and white. We'll start off by looking at the front here. I like how the front of the car looks like. Looking down here it seems to have a pretty nice big splitter. Check out these headlights here. Looking at the hood of the car, there seems to be some stickers here showing some white stripes. Looking at these stickers here, they seem to be for vents. These vents are split into three separate stickers. Looking to the side here, there are going to be stickers on the side panels here. And more stickers on the back here. They have a sticker of the gas cap here. They also have side mirrors here. And there's also this little gap here. There's also another sticker here too. It seems like the car comes with some low profile wheels and two different sets of rims. These are the black 9-spoke rims. Looking at the inside of the wheel, you can see they have some nice drilled rotors. Now we take a look at the other side of the car, where I have the other set of rims set up. The other set of rims are a black 5-spoke rim. So this side will also have all the stickers it had on the other side as well. And they will have that little gap there too. We'll take a look at this wing back here. It 
seems to look pretty interesting. It has tail lights on it. Going off of that, there's also this long strip of tail lights down here. The back has a pretty interesting look. I think the overall exterior of the car looks pretty good. There's also a sticker on the wing there. So now we're going to take a look into the interior of the car. It seems like the car is a one seater and the interior color is black. There isn't much other features in the interior of the car other than the seat and the steering wheel. Next we're going to try a fitment test here. So let me grab the minifigure. I'll fold him up and put him in. He seems to sit in there pretty nicely, but his arms do have to be above those sides there. So now let's put it on the roof of the car and see how it fits. You can see that it fits pretty nicely and it's pretty flush. Let's turn the car over and see how it looks like from the front end. It seems to show a pretty nice view of the figure from the front. So overall the car has some very nice exterior details. Having a nice color scheme of red, white and black. And a lot of stickers showing some stripes and vents. The interior of the car was okay for a one seater. I think the minifigure and its outfit matches the car pretty nicely. I think it's a pretty nice set. I would rate this product an 8 out of 10. Alright everyone, thank you for watching and hopefully we'll catch you guys on the next one. So catch me if I fall.